Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So I've received a delivery from um, Forbidden Planet, so I'm a, I'm a little bit excited about this. Um, it's one of my pre-orders that I would have ordered months and months and months ago. Um, I think it's only one item, I, I, I kind of guess what it is, but I do like a surprise. So, you know, I don't know for sure, but I think I know what it is. So, uh, let's, <laughs> well, I, well, I think it's He-Man's dad, but <laughs> let's, let's have a look, let's see what I've got. Anyone watch the, uh, watch the Arsenal beat Man United last night? I really think we are going to win the league, but, you know, it's still early days, and I've got, um, I've mentioned it before, I've got tickets for Arsenal Brentford in the clock end, so, uh, Really looking forward to that. It's going to be my son's first game. But let's, uh, come on. Right. Right, here we go again, Forbidden Planet. I think I've only had I think I've only had one casualty from Forbidden Planet, um, and that's a, that's a really good record, but they usually always pack everything really well. Quality box, loads of uh, fish and chip wrappers in there. Let's see what we've got. Here we go. It's He-Man's dad. <laughs> King Randor. This is an absolutely amazing figure. And it's one that I it's one that I wanted um, as a kid. Never read it because um I don't know, I just never saw it. I never saw it. I mean I didn't have many He-Man figures, but this is one that I really wanted. And um yeah, I never I never saw it in the shops. It probably was there, but I, I wouldn't have been able to afford it anyway. Because I only had a handful of He-Man figures and vehicles. Uh, and then I got back into Star Wars when Star Wars was um, was phasing out because it was it, it became affordable. But King Randor, now I've seen this figure, um, the vintage one. Um, you know you can pick it up. I think the cheapest I've seen it is like four pounds. But you, but it never has its um, never has his crown. And um, without his crown, he's just got like a round. It looks like one of those Playmobil figures. He's just got like a round. Um, indent on his head so it doesn't look right uh, without his crown so this is great um, you know maybe one day I'll pick up a, a vintage Rat King Randor but this this is really really good really really excited about this um, I mean the, the card's not it's not completely flat but that's because it's been in a box it's got no crease into it so that can easily well, it depends I mean there's a little bit of crease there it depends, it depends whether you intend to uh, open it or display it. And I intend to open this, so I'm not that fussed about it. But, um, yeah. And on the back... See, I've seen that trap jaw for sale. And I, I like the look of it. I mean, obviously, he's not, he's not the trap, trap jaw that we're uh, used to. And it's not... Um, he's not that... He's not really that much different than the... Um, the original release. I don't know. I don't know about this new variation. I don't know why. Um, you know what it's all about. Uh, but I like it. I'd pick it up if I saw it. Whiplash. I've got him on order. Um, and this. What's this guy called? Dig. Digatino. I don't know who he is. I don't know where he comes from. I don't remember him in He-Man. I've got no intentions of picking him up. If I'm honest. Uh, I know um, Amazon are selling a lot of. Uh, um, He-Man figures at the moment, twenty three ninety nine. Now I, th I think they're, um, I don't know. I think Amazon are getting a bit greedy because I don't. These figures aren't worth twenty three ninety nine. No way. I paid nineteen ninety nine for this, but I, I, I pre-ordered from um, Forbidden Planet because they always come up with the goods and it's always in good condition. Buy from buy from Amazon. You're lucky if it comes in good condition. You're lucky if the. Um, you're lucky if the driver bothers to ring your doorbell, if I'm honest. 
because the amount of times I, I, <laughs> at times, I just, you know, I'll go to the front door just to let the cat out and I'll see a package there. So yeah, Amazon, you know, as I've mentioned many times before, only order from them if you're not bothered about the state of the package or, or the, you know, or the card back. But yeah, this is a gr great figure. Look, look forward to opening this up. Um, yeah, I've got a few things on pre-order from Star Action figures, uh, but I don't think there's anything. I think it's mainly I think it's mainly He-Man figures, and I've got an Indiana Jones figure. Um, have I got some Star Wars retro collection Return of the Jedi figures as well? I think I'll need to check that out. But yeah, this is a great looking figure. Highly recommended. Let your eyes be here, guys. Um, currently sold out on um, uh, Forbidden Planet's website. I don't know if, I mean, I haven't been to the store for ages. I'd like to pop to the one in Cambridge at some point. Um, and I, I think I've seen this on Amazon as well. But yeah, definitely, def def you know, if you are going to, if you're not going to pick up many figures, this is definitely one to pick up. It looks great. I love the crown. I love the gold on there. It's got a nice uh, head sculpt. Um, the, I mean, the only um, King Randor from the uh, vintage original release that I've seen is it's just in the bargain boxes, if I'm honest. And his his face is always um, his face is always bad. Like the paints come off a bit, like you know the um, Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, where his face is always. Um, got brown patches on his nose I've only ever seen a King Randall like that but this one looks really really good um, it's got a nice plastic cape on there so yeah looking forward to getting it up oh, has he got a yeah he's got a staff I think and he's got a new comic as well so yeah let your eyes be a guide that's <laughs> that's the end of the video I uh, hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one